What's up YouTube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can get all the data from uh, the firebase database into the data get view and without uh, the need of any specific id or parameter so we will return all the data from the firebase and it does not matter that uh, if the uh, if your uh, database has 10 records or 10000 records all the data will be retrieved so let us begin so first i need a rich text box and a data grid view and now i also need two buttons so one for getting data in the rich text box and one for getting the data in the data grid view Now let's create a click event for both of these. If you don't know how to configure Firebase with a Fireshark extension, go watch the video in the description. For this project, we need this uh, additional library which is newtonsort.json. So now in the rich text box, I need a Firebase response. So dim res as firebase response equals to client dot get i also want to show you the structure of the database so this is our database it contains the folder of the users and inside that there are records of users and each record contains three properties which are name password and is admin the name is string password is integer and the uh, there is this boolean so all of these users contain these properties so i want to uh, retrieve all the users so i'm just gonna say the users so i'm retrieving the entire folder now i need a dictionary or dim data as dictionary which is gonna be the type of string and i also need a class a class named as the users and this uh, class will contain uh, all the properties which are inside any of the users so there are three properties so to declare uh, a property in a VB, you say public property, then name these round brackets as string. So now let's save it and close it. Now here the dictionary would be of type string comma the users which will be equals to json convert dot deserialize object of the type dictionary string comma the users and bracket close and then the method will take a parameter which is res body dot to string so what i'm doing here is that i'm retrieving the result as a json body so it would look like this so i'm retrieving the result in the form of this json and i'm converting it with the help of this json convert deserialize object method i am converting this json result in the form of dictionary items so each item would contain the information of a user so the dictionary consists of two parameters one is the key and the second is the value 
so the key is the uh, string which is the name of the folder and the second uh, is the value which is the user in our case which will contain all of these properties so one dictionary item will contain the uh, information of one user and once we have all the dictionary items we can show it to the uh, data grid view uh, the rich text box or whatever form that we want so now update rtb which will uh, take the dictionary as its argument now we haven't made this uh, method yet so i will first copy this and paste it here just change the rtb to data grid then let's create these methods inside this rich text box one dot player then create a for each loop or so for each item in record so let's remove this data and set an argument by value which will be named as records as dictionary string comma the users so inside this for each loop this text box dot text plus equals to item dot key plus our line break and let's copy paste this and change the key to value dot name and also write it in the string form now let's copy and paste this change it to password and let's add an extra line break at the end of each record now let's also create another method for the data grid we'll remove this and let's make it data grid view dot rows dot clear and also we need to clear the columns then add our new columns as data grid view dot columns dot add first is the name of the column and then the showable header text and inside the for each loop data grid view dot rows dot add and uh, in the first column I will write item dot key so the key goes in the first column and and then item dot value dot name this can create a problem so let's just also put the to string method here and let's you also use the to string method in this as well and also I, I did remember that this will not work because I need to create a new line like this so VB has uh, its own way of doing the, doing this stuff so now let's try to run this all of the records of the users are now here and when I press the data grid button all the information are here in the data grid view so if you don't want the uh, serial number or the keys just remove this and this from the data grid and just this line from the rich text box so you won't see the key so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time